Uh, question number 9, 2022, mathematics paper 1. Port L is 120 kilometers on a bearing of south 30 degrees to the west uh, from Port K. A ship left to Port K at uh, 1000 uh, and sailed at the speed of 40 kilometers per hour along a bearing of uh, south 6 degrees to the east. Uh, using a scale drawing, determine the bearing of a ship of the ship from the port L at uh, 1400 hours. You get 4 marks. So when you are doing a scale drawing, uh, you need to make a sketch. So you can start with a sketch, uh, then you can draw the actual drawing. Uh, the drawing. So that is a compass. Uh, where this is north, so we are told the the the, the, the uh, that is Port L is 120, bearing is from south to the from the south, that is uh, from south to the west, south to west it is uh, 30 degrees. So it means we draw an angle of, we get an angle of 30 degrees there and this is 120 so this is where town L is uh, from there we are told that uh, the, this is where the ship from south to east 60 degrees so it means the port uh, it, it is took that direction uh, now uh, since the, the ship was traveling at 40 kilometers per hour we need to know how many hours did the ship uh, travel uh, so from uh, from 10 to uh, 14, uh, that is 11, 12, 13, 14. Those are 4 hours. Multiply by 40 kilometers per hour, you will be able to get, uh, it means that the, it had traveled uh, 160 kilometers, or it had, it was 160 kilometers from town air so if you town that is uh, this is uh, uh, this is town K so that's where we have town K and from uh, south to east uh, is 60 so this angle here is 60 uh, so we are told to find the bearing of the shop ship from air so what you do is you draw a compass there and you get the bearing that so that is when you get this angle, that will be the bearing. So that's a sketch. Uh, from there, we need uh, we need a ruler uh, to help us be able. Now, the sketch help us to uh, to get uh, the, the the sketch help us to get the, what we call uh, we 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 know how the our structure is. So we use a ruler. We want to draw a compass here. From there. Uh, we get rid of the ruler. Uh, we can make a, a mark here that is going to help us uh, draw that. So we we take uh, we you, you take a you take a, a protractor and uh, you measure. Uh, so that line is like that. Then you will be able to get a a, a a perpendicular line that is going to help us. Uh, be able to to draw the, 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 the to draw that uh, the compass that is so this is my ruler and we have uh, we can say the we can reduce this one so that it can be able to fit on our on our so that's where we have our that is where we have our 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 particular line our compass so again we draw uh, let's put it correctly there correctly again we draw a perpendicular line so let's, uh, so let's draw a perpendicular so that is our compass uh, so from there since we have the sketch we need to measure an angle of uh, 30 uh, so because this angle here is 30 uh, so what we do is uh, we, we, we bring our compass there that is uh, our compass uh, 
Uh, what we want to do is uh, make an angle of 30 so we can rotate our our compass like that uh, since this is the angle that we want to to measure uh, that is we get an angle of around there uh, So we can say that is the angle that we are looking for of around 30 so this is the, the bearing from there uh, we remove the our compass uh, our, our protractor and we can now come and use our ruler to be able to draw that line uh, we can extend like that So we draw our line. Uh, so this is uh, uh, now. Before we draw the line, we can say our scale. Uh, here we have we have found 160, and here is 120. So we can say one centimeter represent uh, 20 kilometers. So it means here we are going to draw uh, six six centimeters. So with our with our with our with our with our ruler here we draw uh, so this is where we have our 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 six centimeter uh, then we can remove uh, the ruler and say now this is where we have this is our k and this is our l uh, this is a uh, six centimeter and this angle here is six uh, this angle we can we have measured this uh, this angle here is 30 degrees uh, from there we need to again to draw our to draw our to, to get our so from uh, south to east this is the east so we bring our 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 protractor there and uh, we we measure an angle of 60 so we are going to measure an angle of 60 roughly there uh, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's use that point uh, we measure an angle of, of 60 we measure an angle of 60 uh, from there remove your compass there and uh, then you can have we can draw that uh, that is uh, let's draw that we use our ruler uh, we can extend here Uh, so with that we can now uh, uh, draw a line like that so that is where now and since we are talking of uh, 20, 1 centimeter representing 20 kilometers here we are going to measure 8 centimeters so let's mark there that is where our our ship is at this time uh, so we, we have that uh, now what we need is to is to to get the bearing so we can come here and say that is 90 degrees so if you measure that uh, then uh, we can mark two points that are going to help us draw a perpendicular line uh, so we can mark there and we can mark here uh, with those two points uh, we, we we bring a ruler and we, we see whether we you'll be able to draw a perpendicular line there uh, so you must be you must be okay you are using uh, you are you are mathematical instruments uh, from there we take uh, we take again uh, we, we put uh, our compass there and uh, we are going to draw uh, so this is uh, where we have 90 uh, so we can make two marks again uh, once you get uh, 90 uh, so we have used the angle 90 and then we can uh, we can get the we can get our ruler again and uh, we 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 get we draw that line so we have 
uh, we have made two marks this is one of them here uh, we set our ruler in such a way that we will be able to get that point so that's uh, roughly the point we are looking for and we do so we have drawn our compass uh, so we are looking for we let's uh, now we are looking for the the bearing uh, so from that point and you come to you come to this side and uh, you get that is uh, that roughly that is uh, so we may not be able to get uh, the exact angle but that is a procedure that we follow to be able so if you do it correctly uh, you will be able to get this angle is 83 so the bearing is 0 83 degrees or uh, from north uh, 83 degrees uh, to the east and that is uh, the bearing so if you do it correctly but that is a procedure that you follow and then when you are using your instrument uh, you should be faster uh, it has taken uh, us some time uh, because we were operating the instrument the computer instrument is a bit uh, hard so that's how you do that question